<laughs> McDonald was uh, brought up and trained through the program Puppies Behind Bars. <laughs> trained at Bedford Hills Women's Maximum Security Prison in New York. There's the money shot right there. The woman who uh, raised him, the inmate uh, who we call Puppy Raisers, um, Crystal was with him for the first almost two years of his life and so she taught him all the things that he knows. About a month and a half ago I went to Bedford Hills and was lucky enough to, to get trained by Crystal as well. Uh, we got to, to learn from the, the inmates who train the dogs, you know, how to give commands, you know, what to look for, how to care for the dogs properly. Um, and so it was a pretty cool kind of, you know, all worlds kind of colliding, you know, police and, and, and prison and um, other first responders and military vets. So it was a really cool experience. <laughs> you can say hi. In a general day while he's on duty. He'll, he'll just come he nuzzle you. He's very sweet. We walk around the police department, we go into dispatch, we check in with our dispatchers who are also uh, in very many ways first responders. You know, he does what he does now. He, he just kind of hangs out, people pet him. But he's the, the friendly kind of police dog. He doesn't, he doesn't bite. He doesn't bite or chase or anything like that. He, he's kind of just a stress reliever for people. He's a good boy. Uh, twice a week we come to the library and we have office hours here in the teen room and uh, we get a chance to meet a lot of kids that you know either we wouldn't meet otherwise or we might, might meet in very different circumstances and so this is the opportunity for us to kind of meet on their terms and, and on their turf which is really neat. Uh-oh look who's here. Hello everybody. Did you guys know we were going to be here? And it's been really I think a, a huge benefit oh to kind of connecting the police with the community. You see it when, when we walk into a building and I'm in uniform and he's got his vest on. You know, people don't even see the uniform. All they see is a dog Hello, and all of a sudden everybody. they're asking me questions about him or... He's like, I want that truck. Inevitably, someone will bring their phone out and say, oh, well, this is my dog and, you know, um, you know, this is what I have. So it, it's a really easy way to kind of break the ice. Nice it's gentle. very busy and we're always, we're always doing something, but yeah. it's always Another fun They're stuff. Big, it's huh? always yeah. fun He's to bring two, a dog. So we'll see how much bigger he gets. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. not too much bigger. I like this size. The Chief Asaro has been awesome about just, you know, if, if other agencies need us, we're happy to help. Um, so we were actually in the New London court last week for the, the triple murder um, probable cause hearing. And so we were there just, you know, kind of being there for the family. The family was huge dog lovers, so they asked us to come back and keep coming back, and or so we, we tried to accommodate them. Or a bear. McDonald's a great distraction. No he's, he's great to just kind of be around. <laughs> well, you guys are gonna get to read about bears today, right? He, bears. He's doing all the work. I'm just kinda, I'm kinda there for the ride. <laughs> so, but it's been, it's been really uh, an awesome experience so far.